exciting day. I get the privilege to go to uh, one of the finest restaurants in Victoria. We're gonna go behind the scenes. Uh, Chef Andy Fawcett of uh, Medgrill uh, in Royal Oak, Victoria, British Columbia today and see what it takes to be a chef. Uh, kind of a day in the life of Chef Andy. Let's make our way to Medgrill here and uh, go check it out. Let's go meet Chef Andy. Plug in your phone and get the chop of the house music going. Awesome. Coffee. Thanks. Check the sales yeah. from last night. Today, 90% of my day will be online cooking. 10% will be doing ordering. Some of my days, I'm only half the day online. The other half is doing office, menu development, scheduling. We're going to go through all these items. Yes, we're going to do them. No, we're not going to do them today. I'll be on broil today, the Allen on pans, so I'll write down what he needs to do, write down what Josh needs to do on apps. Well, I'll check all this off, I'll write it all out, and then we'll get prepping. Lunch is uh, quick. A lot of items are going out fast, right. like super fast. I started as a pizza delivery driver in, two, in the year 2000, January 2nd, 2000, so 17 years ago. Yeah. Where'd you go? Seven dollars an hour. Yeah. Where'd you go after that? After that, I went to the pizza station. Yeah. I stopped driving altogether, and I wanted to work inside the kitchen. So I started with the pizza station, and then from the pizza station, I moved to the salad station. Yeah. And from the salad station, you moved to the pan station. From the pan station, you moved to the broil station. And that's this this station here is 
you're basically in command of everybody. Right. You're checking the bills, you're timing everything perfectly, and you're controlling your environment. This person here has to be vocal, and they have to be on their game at all times. And is that where you spend most of your time? Uh, I used to spend all my time. But then, now I've trained up other guys to let them take the lead role. Yeah. Like right now, my sous chef takes the lead role, and one of my uh, senior cooks does royal. I kind of back away and let them do the job. At what stage did you realize that you wanted to be a chef here? It kind of just all fell into place. Like I, I know, I knew I enjoyed being in the kitchen, and I, I knew that I liked the employees that are brought in. I, it was a fun environment. Like yeah. it, it can be a lot of hard work and a lot of stress, but at the end of the day, when you're working together as a team, you get to know everybody. You know, it's fun. A lot of people wouldn't say it's fun, but. At the end of the day, you gotta like what you do, and I've been here for 17 years, so yeah. obviously I like it. We are back for the night shift. It's looking pretty busy in there. Great customer feedback. Wow, I had the best dish I've ever had. Yeah. Wow, I had a dinner date last night and it was amazing. Yeah. Everything from the service to the food was great. The atmosphere was great. What about changing up the menu all the time? Is that? I enjoy that. Yeah. I change it once a month. The once Tuscan a month. Every month. Yeah. Wow. Where do you get all your new ideas from? I look up the ingredients in season as of now yeah. and get an idea of a dish through asparagus or artichokes or potatoes or butternut squash or fresh salmon or it's holiday season. I think over time my dishes have evolved. I think it, when I first started you keep it really simple. And yeah. They're not they're nothing crazy like out of control but because we do so much volume and such fast pace that you can't have intricate little things in, in every single dish. We're pumping so much food out in such a short amount of time that it can be difficult to. But each dish looks like it has a bit of garnish and a little bit of thought yeah. into it. Each dish does have its own special component. Yeah. so important to keep everything flowing, right? Then you're just freshing out dishes all over the place. You can't have too much and you can't have too little. So there's a fine balance. Seems like everyone in there knew what they were doing at their stations. Like, is that just experience? That's experience and training. I like to train people in one station. Like, we have a, a new guy we're training right now, but and he's on the pad station. He might be interested in doing broil or plating or pizzas or apps, but he's just doing pants. I won't let him leave until he completely masters it. Right. And then he can go somewhere else and move around. The, the best, the ideal kitchen is having one person being able to do any station. Right. And then, and then you can rotate. And then you can rotate, right? You get bored of the station right. and you kind of get like complacent and you want to try something different or whatever, right? That's a 12 hour day all done. Thanks to Chef Andy. Yeah, good times. Good times. Oh, 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 oh.